Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite more knives. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and today's video is going to be on what I believe are the five best more knives, or at least my five favorite more knives and for those of you guys who are in the outdoors or survival bushcraft camping all that kind of stuff a lot of y'all are familiar how um, great more knives are how budget friendly these are um, in fact the one in front of me in front of you right now is only around nine dollars I'll leave links for all these in the description box down below where you can find them on Amazon but uh, uh, knife news and you can check them out uh, I'll leave the link in the description box I think it's knifenews.com um, they reached out to me to talk about uh, they want to know my opinion on what the five best budget knives that are fixed bladed are and I'm really tempted just to list all of these and uh, send it back to them uh, uh, for, for, for the story <laughs> but uh, stay tuned to, uh, to knifenews.com if you guys want to see um, what I end up saying but uh, these, these five knives are um, r really great. I'm just going to touch on them uh, really briefly. And uh, you guys let me know if you agree or disagree with, uh, with what I'm saying about them. And like I said, links for each of these would be description box down below. In front of you, we have the Mora Companion. And this truly is um, a, a very well-named knife because um, this knife, as well as several of the other ones have been my companion um, just going outside going on a day hike um, you know up to no good kind of stuff um, stabbing trees and uh, uh, making some feather sticks the, the knives in front of you are obviously uh, newer knives because my main more knife collection is back home which just kind of brings me to another uh, point about more knives is that you can have several of them you can have them different colors it's really up to you guys they make they really make great gifts too um, if you if you want to either let a loved one know about how great they are or if you uh, simply want to uh, purchase this, these yourself or for somebody who's into the outdoors oh um, let me just talk a little bit more about the uh, about the companion so the more companion um, this one is around $15 and I have the heavy duty version. I really like the, uh, the sheath. All these sheaths are going to be plastic I mean, for, and for what you're paying, uh, it's, that's, that's a good deal. Uh, I, I, these are actually some of my favorite sheaths, no joke, um, because, and I'm not getting paid by more by the way, but yet yeah, this is a great pocket clip. You can even clip this to your, your, your pant pocket um, if, you, if you really want to. Um, and like I said, these come in different colors. Um, I, I, I like the orange colors just because it's easier to see against the foliage than uh, some of the other colors out there, like, um, like olive drab or whatnot. Um, they, they'll, they come in skinny grinds, all of them do. Um, they are from Sweden, and in fact, their uh, brand name, I believe, is pronounced Mordekneef. Uh, I'm actually going to do a factory tour of, uh, of Mora. Uh, if you guys want to stay tuned for that, um, I'm going to Europe after um, after I move out of uh, Korea, which is where I'm stationed right now. Um, so, you guys, stay tuned for that. It should be pretty exciting. All right. So the next one is just simply known as the Fire Knife, and as you guys can probably tell, it has a, a ferrocium rod uh, right in the handle. Now, uh, one thing that you guys can kind of notice is that these handles aren't uh, full tang. Um, it's it's not necessarily a rat tang, but it isn't um, it isn't the full uh, width of the blade, and it goes down uh, three fourths is what uh, is what I've found online. I have I've never cut one of these open, but I've seen videos where people have done that, as well as the specs for more themselves. Now, not being full tang is going to bother uh, maybe some beginner uh, survivalist uh, because they don't understand or have much experience with knives that aren't full tang, and also maybe they don't realize that a lot of their full tang knives, you know, if if 
if it, the tang really goes all the way down to um, the end of the handle. A lot of them are skeletonized um, or big pivots are drilled in, I mean uh, screws are, are drilled in, which makes them kind of actually worse in a lot of ways than some of these more knives. But remember, these knives are budget friendly. Uh, the one that I'm showing you right now is less than $30. Uh, it's around $28, I think. You know, the price fluctuates on Amazon, if you guys don't know. But uh, anyways, moving on to the next one. This this is, uh, both of these next two are from a craft line series and um, more knives, they started off as being, you know, carpenter knives. Um, they were great for construction sites. Um, you know, this, this knife in front of you is around $9. Um, and basically the way that they're historically used is, you know, you just use them as you would any tool and whenever they're, uh, whenever they're done, they're, they're, these are more or less disposable knives, you know, they, they throw them out. Um, hopefully they put them as sheets first before they throw them away, but uh, you, you guys know, know what I mean. Um, but because they're so well built and uh, because of their, uh, their dimensions and um, how, how lightweight each one of these are, these are all super lightweight. Um, more and I was really caught on with the bushcraft survivalist community and um, because of that actually um, they demanded that they make a full tang version of the more knife uh, which they came out with um, I don't have with me today because <laughs> those are a hundred dollars um, probably because you know they had to uh, make new equipment to manufacture those so in order to justify that price they also made their um, their blades high quality uh, steel and I'm sure they'll, they'll come down in price um, once they've sold enough of them but um, yeah so so a lot of these are carbon steel um, the, uh, the the fire knife one is stainless but uh, carbon steel it does rust a lot faster than uh, stainless but stainless does not mean uh, stain free it's important to note that as well um, the only ones that have the 45 degree, I mean, sorry, the 90 degree spine are going to be the, uh, the ones that have the, the ferrocene rod integrated into the, either the handle or the sheath, like I'm about to show you in a, in a second. Um, so this one doesn't have a rubberized grip. This is the um, Craftline 511, by the way. Uh, the next one is the Craftline Robust. Uh, it does have a rubberized sheath, I mean, uh, handle, just like the rest of them. Um, I would say that my favorite handle, all of, I'm um, sorry, my favorite sheath, and all these sheaths are, are pretty similar as far as where, where the, the, the belt clip or the pocket clip is. Um, my, my favorite sheath is probably going to be this one right here with the, uh, the companion. It's just, it's just so easy to, uh, to pull out of the, out of the sheath. Um, but that's just really, uh, me being really picky because each of them it's easy to uh, to use your thumb to, to disengage it but of all of them uh, this is the fastest to, to get out of the sheath but I really like the uh, I really like the handles on the craft line ones um, I like having a finger guard in case I need to to bear down on it, it my fingers aren't going to slide forward onto the blade um, and something special and unique uh, about the craft line ones as you can see this has you know this has this this feature right here and what you can do is you simply lock those two into place and now you put this on your belt and if you want to use it for heavy duty tasks you can pull out the more robust because you can see how the thickness of that blade and if you want finer details because you can see that it's not as thick of a blade um, you can use the, uh, the 511 so these often find their way onto my pocket, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm just going on a day hike. Um, and Moras are actually some of my most used knives simply because of how inexpensive they are and how easy to replace they are. Um, you know, I'm, I'm active duty military, enlisted, don't make a lot of money, so um, it's good to have knives that you're not spending a lot of money on. This next one is probably the best out of all of them, and uh, it's appropriately the most expensive. Um, it's funny how that seems to happen. Uh, but this is the Mora Bushcraft Black. Um, it has a blackened uh, carbon steel blade. Let's see if I can get a little bit uh, better focus. Um, and it has that 90 degree spine, and this 90 degree spine is amazing. So 
It has a sharpener in it, by the way, and a ferrocene rod on the uh, on the sheath. Let me pull that out. It's in there real good right now, but I th the more that you use the ferrocene, the harder. I mean, the easier it's going to be to. Uh, for this thing to slip out, so you, you might want to invest in like getting a little shock cord so you can uh, loop it around the ferrocene rod to keep that locked in place. But uh, check this out. This thing is incredible. Um, I've I've really never come across too many knives that have that good of a 90 degree spine. Uh, and, and sure, you can file these ones down to 90 degrees, but this one comes with a really, really great spine for uh, for fair seam rods. So if, if this is if you're just looking for something um, around fifty dollars um, that you can go out in the woods and you know practice bushcraft, I would I would choose this one or you know mix it up and, and buy more than one Mora because all of these knives are really good investments and the cool thing about them is that you really don't have to spend a lot of money this it's really not much of an investment because um, 9 15 15 28 ish around fifty dollars um, I think you can get it for less if you don't have the version that has a sharpener and a ferrocene rod um, but anyways these these are all great options for y'all um, if you guys want more information uh, check out the links in the description box down below or uh, leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays you prepared god bless hey youtube it's budget bug out and today we're going to go over some of the uh, products that are available at Countycom. Now, some of my longtime viewers will recognize Countycom as being a website that I've used to help construct bug out bags.